because a lot of us as players when we're attacking we're very involved in the game we're very focused on what we're doing but as soon as it comes time to defend we switch off mentally and we don't do the things that we're supposed to do so if you want to be a better player a more complete player that means being a better defender so a couple principles i want to talk about when defending the first one is staying very compact very tight closing down the spaces between teammates so when we're attacking you've heard the term get width get wide okay and the reason you want to do that is because we want to make big gaps yes we want to come together and combine and sometimes there'll be smaller passes but we want to use big gaps in order to use the ball to our advantage and make the other team chase the ball when we have big gaps we can use long passes quick passes and that forces the other team to move now let's say we're the red team defending this blue squad okay so when we're defending we don't want those big gaps because these big gaps are very easy to play through okay so what we want to think about what you want to think about as soon as your time comes to defend can I close the distance between myself and my teammates so if I'm playing out here on the wing and the balls here I'm not gonna stay out here I'm gonna get really compact I'm gonna cut the field in half okay everyone's gonna come across because why well this is very difficult to get through here okay if they come in here we're much more likely to win that because we're so tight together we're a very compact unit okay if the ball gets switched that's fine we're gonna shift as a unit okay these guys aren't just gonna go and you're gonna stay here on the side no everyone's gonna come across we're gonna stay very compact and very tight and this is very tough for teams to break down okay you see this lots sometimes you'll see a team that's not as good technically playing against a very good team or a very they're the underdog in the in the competition okay and they play this very compact defense okay they keep things very tight and this gives the other team a very hard time okay so you want to think about being very compact let's say you have the ball out here and your team is attacking let's get everyone up and you happen to lose possession of the ball okay what are you gonna do right at this point well you're gonna press to win the ball then hopefully your teammates are coming across everyone's coming across cut the field in half get very compact looking something like this okay then as the ball shifts if they go over the top try to play out here that's fine we're all gonna shift over stay very compact cut down the spaces keep very tight and work together okay defending is all about working together if you're working by yourself it's very difficult to win the ball back but when you have a team where everyone works together to make it very difficult for the other team you're gonna have much more success when it comes to defending okay the next thing I want to talk about is closing down quickly or arriving at the right time Okay, so if you want 12 weeks of in-depth coaching covering every area of player development, daily follow-along training routines to improve your skills, fitness, and confidence, 12 weeks of professional match analysis, and access to every advanced course I've created in the past, check out the link in the description below. Okay, so first of all, when the opponent gets the ball, let's say you're defending as a forward, and yes, forwards have to defend, let's say this guy gets the ball. Don't give him time to make a decision. Pressure him. Force him to make a decision. Force him to get his head down. And hopefully he's going to screw up. He's going to kick the ball up the field. You're going to win it. Or he's going to pass it into a place where he shouldn't. We're going to win possession. Or even better, he's going to take a bad touch and you're going to win the ball. And then he can get into a scoring opportunity just because you decided to press him, close him down quickly, force him to make a decision, force him to make an error. Rather than doing what most players do, which is slowly jockey, slowly close down, and not really have the purpose or intention to win the ball back quickly okay so right now starting today when you're in your train session when you're in your game I really want you to focus on closing down quickly forcing that player to make a decision forcing him to make him mistakes just run at him yes when you get a bit closer you can slow down and jockey but if you see that he's having a bad touch close down quickly and try to win that ball back right away okay the next thing I want to talk about is arriving at the right time so if I know this pass is coming into here this is going to be my job as one of these defenders or a holding midfielder okay or any position on the field if you know that the ball is going here you don't want to arrive after he's already received it you want to be thinking okay I know he's gonna pass there so I'm gonna to try to arrive right 
on his touch, right as soon as he gets it, or even a second before. So this is really going to make him panic. He's going to have a bad touch, going to cough it up and we can win it, or he's just going to panic and boot it up the field and then we can gain possession and play. Okay, so think about that. If the ball's coming into here, read the play. You have your eye on the ball, you know what's happening, you're not reacting, you're anticipating. The ball comes in here, as soon as it's there, you're already touch tight. So he either has to go backwards, or if he does try to turn you, you're tight on him and you can win that ball back. Even better, he's going to have a bad touch and your teammates, like we said before, are playing very compact. We're going to come and win the ball back with our numbers and then we can attack, then we can spread out, then we can get up the field. Okay, so think about that. Closing quickly. Don't give him time to play, make him panic, be a pest, give him the hardest time possible, force him to make errors. When the pass is getting there, anticipate and try to arrive there as soon as the pass is made. Okay, if the ball is coming to your guy and you're not anywhere close, he has time to turn, what's going to happen? They're going to hurt you. Okay, he's going to dribble into space or they could play a through ball for someone to run onto. Okay, so you want to think about getting touch tight before the ball gets there or just as the ball gets there okay so think about that when you're defending where is your guy is the ball coming to him okay i need to be there before the ball gets there don't give him any time to play and the last thing i wanted to talk about for basic defending principles is forcing the player into the area where you want him to go okay so let's say this winger gets the ball out here and you're playing as a fullback oh sorry we're the red team Let's say this winger gets the ball out here, and you're defending in one-on-one -on -one position here. Okay, so where do you want to force him? If you know that he's not very good on his left foot, then you may want to force him by your body position, force him down the line or towards the sideline so you can trap him here. Okay, or maybe you know that you have support in this area, so instead of going straight on at him, or giving them the sideline where he has space, you want to force him into trouble. So think about how you're positioning yourself. Where are you forcing him to go? What space are you cutting off? Okay, if you can learn to do that, as well as press the ball very quickly, as well as stay very compact and work for your teammates, don't let them defend on their own. Everybody defends together you're going to have so much more success on the field, okay? So remember these main points. Next time you're playing in your practice, next time you played a game and you're reviewing, ask yourself, did I do these things? If you want to be a better defender, tell yourself, remind yourself to do these things before every game.